The Russian nuclear-powered submarine, Khabarovsk's unveiling, is a pivotal moment in the development of strategic deterrence and undersea warfare. The vessel, which is expressly engineered to transport the nuclear-powered unmanned underwater vehicle Poseidon, represents a significant shift in Russia's naval nuclear strategy. Khabarovsk is reportedly equipped with six of these massive nuclear-capable drones, each of which is theoretically capable of inflicting calamitous damage on coastal targets. Russia's determination to maintain strategic parity with and potentially outmaneuver its adversaries is reflected in the submarine's arrival, which is both a technological milestone and a geopolitical statement. As part of Russia's broad initiative to develop strategic deterrence systems that exceed conventional missiles, the Khabarovsk project was initiated. Project 09851, a series of special purpose submarines that are different from ballistic missile carriers, was built at the Sevmash shipyard under the supervision of the Rubin Design Bureau. Khabarovsk was built and tested for an extended period following the completion of several years of conceptual work in 2014. After several delays, its eventual launch was greeted with widespread attention in both Russia and abroad. Khabarovsk is the first submarine to be designed wholly from scratch for this mission, in contrast to its predecessor, Belgorod, which was converted from an existing ballistic missile submarine hull to carry Poseidons. The vessel integrates the hull design philosophy of the Bore class submarines with specialized systems to house and deploy the Poseidon drones, thereby reflecting the lessons learned from decades of Soviet and Russian undersea engineering. The development of Khabarovsk is indicative of a new kind of nuclear submarine that is specifically engineered for strategic underwater operations and deterrence, in addition to self sufficient capabilities. This change in design philosophy emphasizes Russia's commitment to preserving a survivable second strike capability in a time of advancing anti submarine warfare technologies. Although the exact specifications of Khabarovsk are classified, publicly available information provides a general understanding of its design and capabilities. It is anticipated that the submarine will displace approximately 10,000 tons and have a length exceeding 110 meters. Although it lacks the towering missile compartment that is characteristic of ballistic carriers, its silhouette reminds one of the Bore A strategic missile submarines. It is suspected that the vessel uses a pump jet propulsion system to enhance hydrodynamic efficiency and concealment. The internal arrangement of the structure is designed to accommodate six Poseidon launch shafts, each of which is capable of accommodating an underwater vehicle with a diameter of 2 meters and a length of 20 meters. The submarine's interior necessitated a significant redesign to accommodate the Poseidon's nuclear reactors. This included the installation of reinforced launch hatches, the expansion of cooling and radiation shielding, and the provision of power distribution for onboard support systems. Khabarovsk is one of the most intricate submarine designs ever constructed from a technological perspective. It is a combination that few navies have even attempted, combining nuclear propulsion, automated control systems, and the infrastructure necessary to manage autonomous nuclear weapons. The mission profile of the vessel indicates that it is capable of conducting long-term stealth patrols, deploying weaponry far from Russian shores, and enduring deep ocean conditions. The Poseidon unmanned underwater vehicle is the cornerstone of Khabarovsk's strategic objectives. An altogether new category of weapon, Poseidon is a nuclear-powered, nuclear-armed underwater drone. It was formerly known as Status-6 or 2M39. Poseidon, in contrast to conventional torpedoes, is engineered for extreme depth operation and intercontinental range. It is purported to be capable of operating at depths of approximately 1,000 meters and traveling at speeds exceeding 90 knots, which exceed the capabilities of the majority of current detection systems. Its onboard reactor enables it to remain submerged for indefinite periods, thereby providing it with a virtually limitless range. 
The Poseidon's warhead is purported to have a yield of several megatons, which is more than enough to destroy extensive naval bases or coastal regions. From a conceptual standpoint, Poseidon fulfills many strategic objectives. It has the potential to serve as a retaliatory weapon capable of striking adversary coastal cities even in the event that Russia's land-based nuclear forces are destroyed. It can also be used to target coastal infrastructure, ports, and carrier strike groups. However, its most debated characteristic is its capacity to produce large-scale radioactive tsunamis by detonating its payload underwater near enemy coastlines. Although the feasibility of such a strategy is a topic of debate, the concept itself is indicative of a desire to guarantee deterrence by instilling fear of catastrophic repercussions. Poseidon's nuclear propulsion system provides it with a unique advantage, as it can remain concealed for months, navigate beneath polar ice, and strike from unanticipated angles. Deployed from a submarine such as Khabarovsk, it effectively adds a new dimension to the nuclear triad, thereby extending deterrence into the unmanned underwater domain. The deployment of Khabarovsk and Poseidon alters the strategic calculus of global nuclear deterrence. Conventional nuclear deterrence consists of land-based missiles, strategic bombers, and ballistic missile submarines. With Poseidon, Russia introduces a fourth dimension, autonomous underwater nuclear vehicles. This transition presents numerous obstacles to existing military doctrines. Initially, Poseidon's underwater trajectory circumvents all current missile defense systems. It is a virtually unstoppable deterrent due to its capacity to remain undetected until it approaches the target. Secondly, it introduces an unpredictable element which complicates strategic stability. In contrast to manned submarines, which necessitate command and control connections, Poseidon has the potential to operate semi-autonomously, which raises concerns about accidental or unauthorized activation. The presence of Khabarovsk also compels adversaries to reconsider their coastal defense strategies. Conventional anti-submarine warfare assets are intended to detect and track submarines, not small autonomous nuclear-powered drones that are capable of deep ocean navigation. To prevent Poseidon, naval forces would be required to implement new generations of oceanographic monitoring systems, drone interceptors, and underwater sensors, which are both technically challenging and expensive. In a strategic sense, Khabarovsk fortifies Russia's ability to execute a second strike. If there were a full-scale nuclear war that destroyed land and surface forces, submarines carrying Poseidon missiles could still strike back. This guarantees that no adversary can take a first assault without experiencing certain destruction, which is the fundamental principle of deterrence. Khabarovsk is anticipated to endure an extensive testing and evaluation phase following its launch prior to its inclusion in the fleet. Factory trials will evaluate its reactor performance, Poseidon integration systems, and propulsion, followed by state trials conducted under naval supervision. Khabarovsk is expected to be deployed to the Northern Fleet upon its commissioning. However, there are indications that it may also be deployed to the Pacific Fleet. The operation of such a vessel presents significant obstacles. The personnel must receive training in the operation of nuclear-powered unmanned systems in addition to submarine warfare. The safety protocols for the launch and recovery of Poseidons will be intricate due to the fact that each vehicle is both nuclear-powered and nuclear-armed. Specialized bases are being constructed to provide support for these submarines, including facilities for secure weapon handling, reactor servicing, and maintenance. In terms of mission profile, Khabarovsk may continue to operate at sea for extended periods, occupying stealthy positions in the Pacific Ocean or beneath Arctic ice. It functions as a deterrent symbol during peacetime, and it has the capability to deploy Poseidons as either a preemptive strike weapon or as part of a retaliatory salvo during wartime. The existence of such a platform necessitates other nations to evaluate the implications of entirely unmanned nuclear delivery systems, 
as it blurs the line between traditional naval deterrence and autonomous weapon warfare. The emergence of Khabarovsk and Poseidon raises profound political, ethical, and environmental concerns, in addition to their military utility. Existing arms control treaties have yet to address the evolution of autonomous nuclear weapons. The design of agreements such as START or New START was centered on missiles and bombers rather than self-propelled, nuclear-powered underwater drones. A new era of weapons competition beneath the ocean's surface could result from this gap in international law. In terms of technology, Russia's initiative may serve as an incentive for other nations to implement comparable systems. The potential for long-range underwater reconnaissance, strategic subversion, and deterrence missions beyond national borders is facilitated by the integration of artificial intelligence and nuclear propulsion in unmanned vehicles. Nevertheless, the environmental dangers are substantial. The potential for radioactive contamination is elevated in the event of a malfunction or collision due to the operation of numerous nuclear-powered underwater drones. A multi-megaton underwater warhead would have catastrophic ecological repercussions, potentially irradiating extensive sections of the ocean and coastal ecosystems. Khabarovsk is a symbol of Russia's political resilience in the face of technological isolation and sanctions. Its defense industry persists in the development of intricate, high-risk military systems, despite its limited access to Western technology. For Moscow, the launch of Khabarovsk serves as both a demonstration of scientific pr prowess and a message of deterrence to NATO powers. The commencement of Khabarovsk marks the beginning of a new era in undersea warfare. The ocean depths may become the next frontier of strategic competition as artificial intelligence, nuclear propulsion, and automation converge. The conventional distinctions between drones, projectiles, and submarines are being eroded. The global naval doctrines of the future may be influenced by Russia's investment in autonomous nuclear deterrence. Nations may allocate additional resources to the development of anti-autonomous systems, underwater drone defense, and ocean surveillance. In contrast, there are those who may attempt to replicate the Poseidon concept by creating drones that are similar to doomsday drones in order to establish credibility for a second strike. The philosophical significance of the transition from human-operated platforms to autonomous deterrence is also significant. It raises concerns regarding the stability of deterrence in an era of automation and the delegation of nuclear decision-making to machines. In conclusion, one of the most consequential and enigmatic military initiatives of the 21st century is the Khabarovsk submarine. Its integration of unmanned nuclear drones, stealth technology, and nuclear propulsion represents a departure from the Cold War paradigms and a transition to a new strategic environment. Khabarovsk expands the nuclear deterrence concept into the autonomous domain by transporting six Poseidon underwater vehicles, which allows weapons to travel unseen across oceans for months before striking. The vessel is a significant technological advancement, regardless of whether it is perceived as a defensive or offensive threat. It illustrates Russia's determination to maintain its position at the vanguard of strategic innovation by reshaping the geometry of deterrence beneath the world's oceans. Khabarovsk is the inaugural genuine symbol of the era of unmanned nuclear submarines. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.